Hi everyone, welcome to our live cast from the Ryersonian. Uh, my name is Kim Brown and today I have Faye Song joining us. Um, she's an associate professor of the human resources and organiza organizational behavior at the Ted Rogers School of Management. Um, now, Faye recently published an article uh, entitled How Competitive Are Female Professionals? An Identity of Conflict. Um, and she's here to tell us a little bit about it. So thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm wondering if you can start by just giving us a brief summary of, uh, of the article you wrote. Okay, so this is a, a joint research project with two other professors, Bram Casby from University of Guelph and Marsh Svatica from University of Canterbury from New Zealand. So in this project, it's a behavioral experimental lab study and uh, we basically examine and empirically test the idea that for a lot of female professionals, they face an internal identity conflict in the sense that um, there are uh, two identities embedded in themselves, the uh, caring um, female or motherly identity, a caregiver identity versus a uh, competitive, commit, committed uh, professional identity. And we argue that um, in con contrast to female professionals, male professionals do not face such an internal identity conflict and uh, using a widely used psychological methodology called um, identity priming we show that when primed um, when, when being primed with this uh, female uh, caretaker identity female professionals turn out to be not as competitive as their counterpart male professionals. However, um, when they are being primed of their um, professional identity, then females are just as competitive as male uh, their counterpart male uh, professionals. So the idea of this research is to show that, um, and to, to add another um, explanation piece to the idea of why uh, we see fewer women on top of the career ladders and all the, um, uh, in the sense of uh, the public sector or in the boardrooms and in many other spheres in life. That's really interesting. Now, I know more women um, are getting their postgraduate degrees. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that this will have any influence on the number of women that actually make it to executive positions in the future? Mm -hmm. I would like to say yes, but the reality is telling us the other story. Um, and with both the Canadian statistics and um, um, statistics from many other um, Western economies, that um, the um, educational attempt, in terms of education, attainment and um, women have actually surpassed men there are more women and uh, enrolled in undergraduate education than men in many OCD countries and even in graduate education and um, uh, women uh, achieving more and more however this number is not transcended into um, into high-level um, executives and uh, there's still uh, women and um, are still uh, the minority in boardrooms and in high-level executive jobs. Right. Now, do you think it's a bigger issue, um, women who aren't as competitive, is it because other pr people perceive them to be less competitive or is it because they self-identify as more caring or compassionate mm -hmm. or is it a combination of both? Um, I think um, those two things are not separate and they obviously influence one another. Obviously in terms of the social norm and the perception both men and women hold about women, yes, um, the, the social norm and the social expectation is such that women are considered less per, um, competitive. Um, but I think what's important and that in our current research is to show that um, when being primed with a certain identity, women also see themselves and actually behave less competitively than men, but not all the time, only when one identity is being primed in them. And finally, how do you think we can start to change um, these attitudes towards women and uh, maybe see more of them in, in higher positions? What um, can we do? Um, I think that's uh, 
complex question, and, it, um, and unfortunately, our research didn't really provide a very clear prescriptives how to make women more competitive. But I think obviously um, there are many things that can make women more competitive. For one thing, in our study, when they are reminded um, of their professional identity, they do uh, show uh, um, an equal um, an amount of competitiveness as men. So that's one thing. And that when they think of themselves as professionals, they are just as competitive as men. And I think a lot of uh, positive female role models can be a very positive influence on young female professionals as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Faye. I really do appreciate it again for you taking the time to come into us with us. Um, so signing off from Ryersonian live webcast. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.